For this video, I'm going to show you how to use your magic wand tool. You will go to File. We're going to open up a new document. We're going to open up the Bugs Bunny one, so make sure that you have it downloaded from my sample pictures at this point, and go to Open. We're going to choose Open because we want to open a new tab of Photoshop. We don't want to place the Bugs Bunny onto another picture. So that's why we're doing File Open. I'm going to double click on my copy of Bugs Bunny Broken. Once you do that, um, first we need to unlock the background layer. So if you go to the right side of your layer panel, or the only layer that we have in here, and you click on it one time, it will unlock. So first I want to show you what the magic wand tool will do with this background. Um, there's two different ways that you can use this magic wand tool. It can be really effective, especially whenever you're selecting something that is on a solid background like the one that we have now. So the magic wand is underneath the quick selection tool. So hold down on your quick selection tool with your mouse and click magic wand tool. Okay, if you just click one time on your brown background, then it will select everything that is connected to where you clicked that is brown. Okay, so as you can see, this little space that's in here that's brown is not selected because this button right here is checked. That button is called contiguous. Now, if I wanted to delete this background, I could hit delete on my keyboard and all of that brown would be gone. Okay, I would like for you to hit control Z to undo if you did that. And then hit control D to deselect. Okay, so let's uncheck that contiguous button. And now let's click on the brown. So now it not only has all of this out here selected, but then it also has this portion in, inside the armpit selected. So now if we hit delete, everything that is brown is now gone. Okay, so I want you to hit Control D. Actually, hit Control Alt Z. Control Alt Z again, and then hit Control D. Okay, so I need you to hit Control Plus, and we're going to zoom in on the foot that is up here at the top left. Okay, the easiest way to select this foot is to use the magic wand tool. So I'm going to hit the gray portion one time. Now it selected, oops, control D. I need to hit the contiguous button so it doesn't select everything else. So make sure you have no selection on your screen. Hit control D. Okay, so we're going to click the gray, and it selects only the gray. Now we want to add to our selection, so we click on Shift on our keyboard. I'm going to click on the white space, and then I'm going to click on this black space. Now, make sure that your magic wand is clicking on the black and not the brown, because we don't want the brown. So you're going to click right here on the black space. When you have it selected, you're going to hit Control-0. And you would move this foot. Now, don't do this because I want you to see how I'm going to mess up this arm so that you don't do that when you make your Bugs Bunny. So I'm going to take this Move tool, and I'm going to move the leg down. And if I were to place the leg right here, then I would be covering up the arm and keeping myself from being able to select the whole arm. It would ruin the arm. So 
I'm going to hit Control Z. And what I'm going to do, since I have it selected, is go back to a selection tool. And you have to be on a selection tool in order to do this. I'm going to right click on the item. And I'm going to go down to Layer via Copy. That's going to create a new layer in my layer panel. Then, whenever I turn this one off, which to turn off a layer, you just click on this little eyeball, and you have your own layer of leg. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, just to get this arm out of the way, I'm going to get my lasso tool. I'm going to make a short little lasso around it. I don't have to spend a lot of time on it because I'm not actually connecting it to the body yet. I'll get my move tool and click and oops. Got to make sure you're on that layer. Get your move tool and move it up to the right of the face and make sure that it doesn't touch the face because otherwise I'll ruin it. And then hit control D. Now before we move our foot down here, I'm going to have you guys fill in this space right here. So if you guys will click on your foreground color and then click on the brown space, it's going to color match. And then hit OK. Then on the right column, there's one that looks like a paintbrush. Now keep in mind that it's this one that's a plain paintbrush and not the one that has the arrow. So click on your paintbrush. Make sure that this right here says normal because sometimes it likes to change and it has a filter on it and it'll make it look really weird. So make sure it's normal. And then click on this little down button right here which is going to let you edit the brush that you are using. And instead of using one that has a feathered edge, I would like for you to use one that has a solid edge. And double click on it. And then you're going to want to use your brackets next to the P, to the right of the P, those two buttons to the right. Use the right one to make it larger. You'll just click and drag and cover up that brown. Okay, so. Now we can click on layer one, click on your move tool, and we can move this leg down to where it should be. Now I'm going to zoom in, control plus. And then I'm going to use the down key on my keyboard to make sure that it is in the correct spot. Okay, now this line is going to be natural. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that here in just a little bit. Okay, now hit Control Zero. And now we have an extra leg up here. So you can do the same thing. Make sure you're clicked on layer zero. Click on your paintbrush. And then color over the leg. So just delete that one. But make sure that you are on the correct layer. Otherwise, you'll mess up this leg down here. OK, so we are going to select the head, put the head on a new layer, and then we're going to select the arm and put the arm on a new layer because this arm needs to go behind the head. So I'm going to use my quick selection, make my brush bigger by the right bracket. I'm going to click and drag, make sure I have everything on the inside of the face. Now with this you want to make sure that the marching ants are only around the outside of the bunny. There should be no marching ants at all on the inside of the face. Control plus to zoom in.
Okay, I need that black outline. So I'm gonna hold down on my quick selection tool and I'm gonna click on the magic wand tool. We are adding to our selection that we already have. So I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and click on the black. Okay, I have a nice clean selection, except I can see a little bit more of the marching ants inside of the face and I want to make sure that those are in my selection. So I need to go back over, hold down the magic wand, go to the quick selection tool. And I'm gonna make sure that my quick selection tool is small enough. So if you have your quick selection tool like this, then when you do that, it's gonna select some of the brown and you don't want that. So I'm gonna hit control zero. And I'm gonna make sure that my brush is only on the inside of my selection. And I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna click on those little spots that are not selected yet. I'm always staying inside of my marching ants that are on the outside of the button. Okay, control zero to zoom out. I'm going to right click on the face and do layer via copy. Then I'm gonna click back on layer zero and I'm going to use my magic wand to select this hand very quickly. Click one time on the gray. Hold down the shift button and you can see that these two over here don't have marching ants around the outside. So I'm going to click one time on this finger and one time on that finger. And then it looks like we need to select that black and maybe this black. All right, we might need to get our quick selection tool. So hold down on your magic wand, get your quick selection tool, and then just select those little spots inside there. Right click and do layer via copy. Okay, so we're gonna turn all of these off. So hit the eyeball, we can leave that one on. Hit the eyeball on that one and then hit the eyeball on that one. Now, make sure you click on layer zero because you don't want to ruin these layers up here. You have to be on the layer that you want to edit and we want those separate. So I'm gonna get my paintbrush and I'm going to color over the arm, color over the head, and then hit control zero. Turn my layers back on and then I'm going to move the arm and then I'm gonna move the head. So I gotta click on those layers in order to move them. Click on the eyeball to see which one I need. Got layer three, go to my move tool and move the arm into its place. And we might have to edit here in just a minute. Then I'm gonna get my layer two, which I think is the head and move the head in place. Might have to use my arrow a little bit. Okay, now say that your arm was in front of the head. In order to reorder how they are on your canvas, you just click and drag them in your layer panel. You drag the one that you want behind to the bottom of the one you want it to be behind. So I want layer three behind layer two. And then you'll select and move this leg over here to connect with the body. Okay, so say that we've already moved it. I want you to click on layer one or your top one. And then I'd like for you to hold shift on your keyboard and click on layer zero. When you have all of those selected, so they should all be highlighted, right click and go to merge layers.
Okay, we are going to merge layers because when we use the tool that we're about to use, we want it to be flat so that we can get these colors to blend to get that annoying line out of the way. So I'm going to hit Control Plus. And then I'm going to click on this little band-aid right here. It's the fourth one down on the left-hand side in your tool panel. If you hover over it, it says Spot Healing Brush Tool. I'm going to click on it. Now, if I make short strokes, then normally it goes away. It looks like it's going to be difficult today. So let's actually use the stamp tool. The stamp tool, clone stamp tool, is the one right below it. It looks like a stamp. So click on that one time, make your brush smaller. You want it to be really small, otherwise it starts pulling from areas that you don't want to pull from. And we need to select an area that we want to copy. So I'm going to hold down Alt, be in a clean piece of gray on Bugs Bunny that I would like to copy, and click one time. Then I'm going to go up here to this line and I'm going to click, or I can click and drag, and I'm going to keep doing that until my line is gone. Now, sometimes it starts showing black and that means that we need to reselect an area. So I'm going to go about right here, click Alt, click one time, and I'll go over here and just click one time until it is finished. I'll finish out that line, choose a new area, Now, I can even do that small little black space that doesn't look good. I have to make my cursor really small, my brush, hold Alt, wait for it to look like a target, click one time, and then I'll go down here and fill in that space. And hit Control Zero. Now, when you save this, you need to save it to your H drive. So you'll go to File, Save As, click on this PC, and then when you scroll down, you will see a file that says your name on it below Local Disk or whatever it's called on your computer. Make sure that you double click on the file with your name on it and hit Save.